show the mechanism for the conversion of ethanol to 1-chloroethane using thionyl chloride. So thionyl chloride is SOCl2. Okay, step one. Step one. CH3, CH2OH. We have two lone pairs on the oxygen. Then S double bond O and CL and CL. You do have a lone pair on the sulfur. Okay, so the first step is one of the lone pairs on the oxygen, uh, alcohol oxygen, attacks the sulfur. And what happens is that bond, that second bond between sulfur and oxygen goes to oxygen as a third lone pair. So this is what you have, sulfur, single bond O. And now you have a negative charge on the oxygen. Oxygen is six, around that oxygen you have seven, six minus seven is negative one. Uh, you still have the two CLs. And now attached to the sulfur is that oxygen, which is part of the alcohol molecule, right? CH3, CH2. You do have a plus charge on that oxygen, and the plus charge is neutralized by the negative charge on the other oxygen, the one that's uh, attached to sulfur. Okay, step two. We start with the product in step one. S O negative C L C L then O H lone pair C H three C H two. We do have a plus charge there. Okay, this is what happens. So oxygen is not happy being positively charged. So, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, what happens next is uh, this third lone pair on the oxygen reforms the double bond between the oxygen and the sulfur and what happens is that bond between the sulfur and the chlorine gets broken. The bond goes to chlorine as a fourth lone pair and this is now what you have S double bond O so the SO double bond is reestablished you still have the other CL on the left side and now you have the O CH2 CH3 H and you have that lone pair on the oxygen and the plus charge and now you have uh, freed up a CL with four lone pairs around it. Therefore, it's got that negative charge. Uh, step three, so we start with a product in um, step two. S double bond O, Cl, O, H, CH2, CH3, positive charge, plus Cl, minus so oxygen is not happy being positively charged so this is what happens one of the lone pairs on the cl minus attacks the carbon which is right next to the positively charged oxygen and what happens is this here bond between the carbon and the oxygen goes to oxygen as a second lone pair and what happens next is this uh, bond between sulfur gets released. Oh, yeah, this. What is happening here? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do this step by step. So when that happens, this is what you get S double bond O, Cl. O two lone pairs H plus CL CH two CH three 
and now we have formed our chloroethane, which is our product. And finally, if you look at the reaction equation, you have SO2 and HCl in the, in the equation. So what happens to this structure here is it breaks down into SO2 plus HCl. And that is it.